For the latest top tips, reviews and advice, please subscribe below. Hello and welcome to At Wars Camping and Leisure with me, Mike. Today I'm giving you guys a review on a brand new product from Van Gogh. This here is the Van Gogh Noosa. So it's the first time actually Van Gogh have done a kind of a polled driveway awning. Uh, and it's something that's quite different. There's two ranges, this and also the Pharos, uh, to sort of consider as well. This one's more of a side-fitting vehicle, kind of similar to the Galley or the Galley Compact. It's kind of based actually on the Galley Compact in sort of main wings, but it's actually fiberglass, hit more to a, to a price point. Um, but yeah, generally quite nice. It uses Van Gogh's experience fabric, so it's a nice sort of good standard fabric. Yeah, again, what Van Gogh's trying to create is something that's um, on a very attractive price point but without necessarily losing the quality we've come to know and love. And they've kept sort of the main core features inside the actual awning itself. So you've got things like obviously fluorescent guy ropes, um, at a lower stage to sort of give you visibility. Beautiful PVC crystal clear windows as well with low level ventilation below them. All of the windows you necessarily see on the model as well have curtains uh, interior to them so you can get that privacy level when you want to. The front door yet again on this part is a lovely big canopy here which is ideal for sort of sitting underneath on a rainy day or necessarily you haven't got the ability to cook in your vehicle. You've got an extra area out here, tables and chairs would be quite nice in the day's time. A big mesh panel on the front to give yourself good circulation inside of there. There are a few things to bear in mind as necessarily um, this model uh, is also available in a inflatable model, which is called the Cove. But the Cove is only available for low sizes, so uh, 180 to sort of about 210. Whereas this on the uh, Noosa can come on a low or a tall size. So even if you've got like a big motor, you just want something that's easy and quick uh, to put up and something that's quite compact actually, because there's not really a, you know, a whole lot of fabric or and the poles to it as such. So it just means that, you know, it's something small, can go underneath beds and just not take up much room. But the big ventilation panel on the front is really decent. The only thing to bear in mind is, is you can't put an inner bedroom in here. Van Gogh are producing uh, for 2018 or 2019, I should say, a standalone bedroom, which can be put up anywhere where you, where you wish. But there's nothing that actually physically clips into here, like you've come to know with the Galley Compact, for example. So it might be worth looking, if you're looking along the, same with the Cove really, looking around the air line of things, the Galley Compact in terms of the fabric features and obviously is kind of next level. But this for a price point, I still think is a very good value. So obviously, mesh door allows you to get in. And like I say, it's not, it's obviously kind of wider than it is long in this part. Um, you've still got, some, like I said, features wise, you've got the TPS system at the back here which allows you to sort of clip in and clip out to give you almost like internal guy ropes for a stronger bracing point. You've also got the ability of on the attachment part over here, you've got um, separate doors that allow you to go in there so you can actually enter the main part of the vehicle without having to worry about going through the awning every single time. And because it's on both sides, it's actually quite surprising that if the wind changes, you've still got the ability to happily sort of enter the vehicle without going through the awning every time. But I think it's obviously it's a little bit more money than the Pharos, but I still think it's not a bad model. One thing I would say probably the Pharos is slightly better at is when you come to the attachment, uh, very much like the Galley Compact for that matter, your uh, attachment width from here obviously is, isn't, isn't necessarily very wide, but then it sort of shoots out um, to your awning rail of about 2.5, 2.6. That leaves you pretty much no room at all for storage. So whereas you've got something like the Pharos where you've got a nice wide opening, you can have the door halfway, a bit of storage area there. You kind of, yeah, it's kind of almost like a funnel. So it just, it's really more of a means to and from. You don't have that ability to, you know, get things tucked out of the way. You've got a clip in, clip out ground sheet. So you can remove that quite happily and just have it as sort of bone grass in there. So if you've got dogs or anything like that, or you just necessarily want to keep it, if it's, you know, wet or dry, you can remove that. You've still got things you can think about like the uh, footprint and a carpet is still available for these kind of models as well as where your normal sort of fixing kits you can look on as an add-on depending on how you want to attach it. A set of storm straps are normally supplied with it anyway which you can just literally throw at the top and is a means to put up to but you can still connect it in your usual ways of uh, fixing kits and uh, rear poles, pole and clamps and you know a magnetic valve. you know there's so many ways now to attach it on it's quite good. But generally I think as a model I probably prefer it the reason you might go for this over the Pharos, I think it's mainly down to the fact that you want a little bit of a canopy or more importantly, you want it side fitting onto your vehicle. So the vehicle will be facing that way. 
whereas the Farrell Olsen is more like the, the Keeler, where it's obviously side on. But generally, I like it. I think I still prefer the Farrell I think for the money, the Farrell is probably a better model to go for, unless you necessarily want it side fitting. Alternatively, when you go into the Air model, the Cove, for example, I think that for the price point it is, it, it's very, very good. And it's something I see that no one really is doing kind of a, a well-made, kind of not low spec, but a sort of a basic spec, should we say, version. And I, that's one to check out. But like these, we can also check out our own pitching and packing videos on these. Uh, but of course, let us know what you think. In the comment below, let us know what you think of the products. And I'll say like these, like or dislike the necessarily this little video as well as subscribe to our YouTube channel if need be. But it's one model we'll probably have on display at our um, indoor showroom, as well as you can obviously buy online. But I think it's one of those things that you need to kind of see to see whether it's right for you or not. Some of the a computer screen won't necessarily tell you. But if there's any questions or queries, let us know. But that really is kind of our little uh, model and review on the new stuff.